Hello, welcome to our phonics lesson, where today we are going to be practicing some special friends. And today, those special friends are the sound or. Or, or, or. Brilliant. Shall we have a look at some other things for or then? Here we go. We've been thinking about space this week with our whatever next. And look, there's some aliens today. And the aliens have left their spaceship door open. They cannot get back down to planet Zog until they have shut the d or shut the door. He says to him, hey, Boris, shut the door. We can't get back to Zog. So this side is shut the door. Shall we see what the or looks like then when we see it as a special friend? <gasps> there you go, look. The or and the er. So when we see those together, they're going to make the or sound. So let's play our little game. When we see this side, we're going to say or. When we see this side, we say shut the door. So or or shut the door. Are you ready? Or or shut the door. Go. Shut the door. Shut the door. Or. 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 Shut the door. Or. Or. Fantastic. Well done. Let's see if I can Fred talk some or words now. And you're going to see if you can work out which words I am saying. On. On. I have worn this scarf today. Right, ready? Sp ought. Sp ought. Sport. Well done. I like to play sport. Right, ready for one more. Sn ought. Sn ought. Snort. Sometimes when you're laughing, you might make a funny <laughs> snort noise when you're giggling. I know I do. So shall we have a go at reading some words now with the or sounding? So look out for our special friends. Are you ready? Let's see. There they are. Or. So let's Fred talk. Fork. 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 Well done. We use a fork to eat our food. Are you ready? Look, two sets of special friends. Sh and or. Sh ought. Sh ought. Short. Well done. I am very short. Ready for another one? I did Fred talk this one. Let's see. There's that or. Sp ought. Sp ought. Sport. Well done. Playing a game of sport. <coughs> Ready, next one. There's your or. Sort. 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 Well done. I'm going to have to go and sort out lots of mess. Right, ready? Next one. There's our or. Snort. 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 That funny noise you might make when you giggle sometimes. A little snort. Now let's look at this one, which is a little bit confusing. Because there, we've got our underlined or. And here, I've got this bit underlined. So this is just going to be s on its own. So just s. So when we Fred talk it, it will be h or s. Nice and easy. Yep. Yeah. Horse. Look. H or s. Horse. Fabulous all words today. Brilliant. So don't forget, if ever we see those two together, it's going to be or. Shall we look at all those other sneaky special friends that we've been learning? See if we can remember what they are. Do you remember that one? Ah, oh, well done. Start the car. Ah. Oh. oh. Blow the snow. Oh. I. Fly high I. A. May I play A. E. 
What can you see? E? Oo! Poo at, oh, upside down. Poo at the zoo. Oo! Or, shut the door. Or, super. So we very, very quickly do some more speedy sounds. Remember, the quicker we go, the better we'll get at this. So super speedy sounds, off you go. Ooh. Shh. J. R. Z. Y. Z. Ch. Qu. X. W. W. N. G. N. K. And back to W there. Brilliant. Well done. Now let's try together, seeing if we can do special friends. Fred talk. Read the word. Easy peasy. What special friends? And K. Fred talk. Ick, thick, well done. Special friends, ch, Fred talk, ch, at. Special friends, ch, Fred talk, ch, in. Special friends, Fred talk. Special friends, remember them, ng, Fred talk. Bang. Oh, two sets of special friends. Can you remember them? And ng, Fred talk. Ing, thing. Super. Fred in your head time. You ready? Say the sounds in your head. Win. Well done. Fred in your head. Wet. Well done. Fred in your head. Jam, Fred in your head. Jog, Fred in your head. Jet, excellent. Shall we see if we can speedy read now? Let's have a go. See if you can just say the words that you can see. And dig, dog, sit, got, in. Brilliant. You know what the last set are? Load of nonsense. Are you ready? So there's no special friends in this one, but have a look, Fred talk it. What's the word? What is a fem? I don't know either. Oh look, special friends are here. A qu so Fred talk it. What is a quin? Don't know either. Let's try that one. Oh look, you've got the shh there. It's okay, Fred talk. What's a shoz? Not a clue. Try that one. Look. Ink. Ready? What was the word? Yep, a pank. What is a pank? I've no idea either. A load of nonsense. Fantastic reading, everybody. Well done. Now we're going to see today if we can move on to our reading sheet seven. Before we practice our reading sheet seven, I just want to just double check how we're doing with some of our red words. So I'm going to hold up some red words. Remember, red means no Fred. Can't Fred talk it, you just have to read the word speedily. Okay, so have a look. Do you remember this one? Yep, the. So look out. I might try to catch you out sometimes. Do you remember this one? Two. Now this one we need to know because it's in our reading today. This is the word he. He. Now, when we see it on our paper today, it's got a capital letter at the start because it's our first word in our sentence. But it's the word he, which you're going to need to know today. So don't forget, you can practice all your sounds along the top. And these will be the sounds which you will see in your sentences down here. Look out for the he at the start. You might be able to speedy read some of these words because we've had them in a few of our other sheets before. And that will be fantastic. So once you've had a go at reading your three sentences, I would like you to think it's about a boy here and he does some things and I want you to imagine what he might have done today when you've read the sentences. Once you've done your reading, you're going to think and answer the question about what he might have done today. You're going to write the sentence. He can run and jog. So that's what he's going to do today. He can, run, and jog. So when you're writing your sentence today, remember you've got five words to write. 
See if you can start it with a capital letter, end it with a full stop and use your sounds. He can run and jog. Just be careful at the beginning because it's the word he, which you've just got to write without your Fred talk. Use your sounds. He can run and jog. Enjoy and I'll see you later on. <laughs>